Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through deployment principles guys. So basically now we are done with coding and testing. Everything is done. So then now the last step left is nothing but deployment, right? So in deployment also, we will be following some principles. So deployment includes three main things guys. That is nothing but software delivery, support and feedback from the customer. So these are the three steps that are included in the deployment. Okay. So the first principle states that manage customer expect expectations so basically every customer or consumer will be having an expectation right so if you open a game or if you install a game you will be expecting that that game you should win or you should play you should enjoy like that you'll be having multiple thoughts right so his expressions or everything is very valuable for you because you are the one who made it right okay if you are making him happy you are the one who made him happy if you are make, made making him angry or sad you are the reason for it right so that's the reason why you should make sure that your product is perfect so it always happens that the customer wants more than he has stated earlier as his requirement. So basically it's a common thing with customers guys. Like whenever a client, here customer is nothing but client you can assume in that way. So the client, whenever he says about the particular thing, assume that he told he want a, a learning management system for one particular thing. And at the end, once you give the product, he'll be saying that, okay, I want this also. I inform you about that also. Like that's a common thing. So that is the reason why always requirement gathering should be done perfectly. Okay. So it always happens that the customer wants more than he has, has stated earlier in his requirements. It may be a cause for his disappointment. Even the software is as per his requirements. So that's just some kind of dis disappointment guys. So hence at this time, the software delivery team must have skills to manage the customer expectations. So basically your team, like who is delivering the product, he should inform that. Okay, sir, we will be doing these things. If you want, we can continue the project and we can do it in the next iteration. Like that, we should say about it because th those things are not mentioned in the requirement analysis. So we, we they didn't do it. So, but they should have, they should agree that, okay, they'll be doing it in our next iteration. Like that, they should give some reasons for it, right? Yes. So the next uh, principle is nothing but assemble testing complete delivery package. So you need to assemble all the things and you should do complete testing and you need to deliver the package. So these are the last three steps you can assume. So not only software is delivered, we should also deliver the installation manuals, procedures and system requirements. So if you download a software, it will be having terms and conditions and there will be many things, right? So everything should be done by the company only. So they are responsible for the full fledged software guys with the customer manuals and everything. Okay. And the principle three record keeping mechanism must be established for customer support so basically if you are you if you i think everyone used amazon right so if you didn't got the product or if there is any issue you'll be contacted into customer care right or customer support so there should be a customer support so that they can report the issues or any kind of things to the clients or oh, sorry to the to the team so that they can work on it and they can analyze them and they can work on it right yes customer support is most important and to be recorded hence based on the satisfaction the further designs can be man man manually changed right so the principle four and five the principle four is nothing but provide essential instructions documentation and manuals so this is the same as the instruction two you need to define them all and it, principle five do not deliver any defective or buggy software guys if you do these kind of things like buggy software if you deliver them that will reduce the reputation of your whole company so that is the reason why you should always make sure that the product is working 100 percent fine perfectly in all the environments only then you should the deploy it or else you should ask for some more time and you need and you need to bear with that okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea about this deployment principles okay so now we are done with the deployment principles guys so in the next lecture we will be going through software engineering so how the components are made and everything we'll be discussing like how a basic model is made guys so we'll be discussing about them and after that we will be moving on to our uml diagrams we'll be discussing about them also and after that we'll be moving on to the requirement gathering so from requirement gathering we'll be discussing all the five steps guys like requirement gathering modeling designing analysis sorry analysis modeling after that you'll be going through coding i think coding will not be going in depth guys we'll be just introducing it and after that we'll be going through testing so like all the steps that we are going to do in a in a project we'll be going through from here on like you'll be going in depth guys after this okay 
so i hope everyone got a clear idea till now so in the next lecture we will be, till now we discussed only principles guys for principles if it is given in exam just to write the title of the principle and give just two to three lines of explanation that will be more than enough according to your marks but make sure that you are writing according to your marks okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea so in the next lecture we will be going through system engineering guys okay so how the systems are engineered like what are the different methodologies they will be using so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching